the biggest extinction level event in history caused by climate changing meteor impact. The University of Western Australia finds, this is on phys.org, it's well known that the dinosaurs, of course, were wiped out 66 million years ago when a meteor hit what is now southern Mexico. But evidence is accumulating that the biggest extinction of all is the, the great dying 252.3 million years ago at the end of the Permian period. That was also triggered by an impact that changed the climate. Well, the idea that an impact caused the Permian extinction has been around for a while. What's been missing is a suitable crater to confirm this. Associate Professor Eric Tover of the Western, uh, the uh, Australia School of Earth Environmental uh, Sciences in the University of Western Australia found the impact crater, which reveals though the trigger was the same, the details are significantly different. Mr. Trover redated the impact structure that straddles the border of the states of Mato Grosso and Goiás in Brazil, called the Argaguajina Crater to 254.7 million years ago, with a margin of error plus or minus 2.5 million years. Previous estimates that suggested Argaguajina was 10 million years younger, but Dr. Trover has put it within geological distance of the extinction date. The Chicxulub Yucatan crater in Mexico, that was the one that uh, ended the uh, dinosaur 66 million years ago, is a 180 kilometer crater in diameter. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. While the Araguina is 40 kilometers across and was thought to be too small to have caused the chain reaction which brought about such mass extinction. He said, I've been working with Fred Jordan at Curtin University and UWA postdoctorate fellow Martin Schmader to establish better ages for various impact structures in Australia and abroad. We were particularly interested in the Araguina crater since the original age determined in the 1990s was relatively close to the Permo-Triassic boundary. The refinements in geochronological techniques that we are applying are helping to reveal the true age of these structures, Dr. Tover said. The results of an extensive geological survey of the Arguina Crater funded by UWA and the Australian Research Council and published in Paleogeography, Paleoclimatology, Paleoecology, revealed that a sizable amount of the rock is oil shale. The researchers calculated that the impact would have generated thousands of earthquakes of up to 9.9 .9 magnitude. Thousands of earthquakes of 9.9 .9 magnitude, significantly more powerful than the largest recorded by modern seismologists for hundreds of kilometers around, releasing huge amounts of oil and gas from the shattered rock, he said. Dr. Tover believes the explosion of methane released into the atmosphere would have resulted in instant global warming, making things too hot for much of the planet's animal life. Martin Schmieder and I are currently working on documenting some of the more extreme environments effects of the impact, including giant tsunamis, in addition ongoing work with Clitty Grice at Curtin University and her PhD student Ines Melendez will be uh, fundamental to documenting changes in the organic chemistry of the target rocks, Dr. Tover said. It's estimated that from this quote unquote, it's called the great dying, more than 90% of all marine species and about 70% of land-based species disappeared in the Permian extinction. Permian extinction, used by University of Western Australia on phys.org. 